Okay, less formal, right? Hi everyone, this is Anton. I am owner of several kitchen showrooms around Boston, Massachusetts. I moved uh, from Europe uh, several years ago and I uh, have more than 15 years experience in the kitchen design. I started it in Europe. I, since, since I moved here to the United States, I continue to do the same here. And I wish to bring my knowledge, I wish to bring my point of view as an owner of the high-end kitchen showroom to the everyday person who is looking for more inside information and who wants to learn more about kitchen design and uh, interior design overall. Uh, today I have someone uh, who is helping me behind the camera because it's so so scary, so uh, hard to talk to this black box and uh, today we want to talk about key components that affect your kitchen, your German kitchen cabinetry because, because we want to talk about German kitchens. So uh, first uh, key component I would say uh, German product is a known as well engineered product and including kitchens this is true. If we would compare it to American kitchens I would say it is really really well engineered product and before we start talking about key components i would talk about difference between other european kitchens and american kitchens first component i would say we do not utilize solid wood material and we do not utilize plywood boxes uh, we do not want to use it because we want to have stable panels as you know solid wood bigger panel will be crooked will be twisted in a second day if we would have really large scale and very thin profile so engineered boards help us to create stable surfaces and another thing it is greener product it is very important we always try to create greener product since uh, biggest uh, the biggest manufacturer in germany produces 3,000 kitchens a day, second biggest manufacturer, 2,000 kitchens a day, as of today, and they are growing. So you can imagine how much natural material we would utilize uh, just building uh, this amount of kitchens every day. What are some key components uh, that factor into the overall kitchen cost? Accessories, finishes? Finishes and accessor. uh, accessories, of course, is the very important key component of the kitchen cost. Accessories always bring price up and lights, as you can see, if we have many cabinets with lights inside the uh, kitchen, it brings price up. But it's worth it to have more light rather than uh, struggle every day without enough lighting. And uh, we always would recommend uh, to have it not just for the, for the comfort, not for the convenience to be in the kitchen but also it brings design component design aspect which is very important when we create beautiful uh, kitchen could you tell me a little bit about price groups and how that affects the cost yes for german kitchen manufacturers price groups is a, the probably biggest key component which uh, affects uh, on the price every german manufacturer has different price groups for the door fronts and it means we have a lower price group uh, which starts from price group one price group uh, zero and it is the most affordable solution and we have higher price groups which is price group nine ten seven eight uh, different depends on uh, different manufacturers and it brings uh, price up it, the, this is the most expensive solutions but it doesn't mean that uh, with a higher price group you will have more durable more uh, or higher quality product no it just means that we can uh, introduce more exclusive materials on a higher price group that can dramatically change the look of your kitchen and what are the typical low grade price groups versus the high grade price groups a uh, typical low grade for the lower price groups is basic laminates plain colors or wooden or structural colors and higher price groups it is natural materials exclusive veneers uh, stone veneers porcelain doors so many solutions uh, but usually most exclusive materials what we what we can utilize in the kitchen awesome and could you tell me a bit more about stone 
standard sizes versus custom sizes in cabinetry? Yes. Uh, every German kitchen manufacturer has standard sizes of their cabinets. And usually we can create kitchen within these uh, sizes, but sometimes we have to utilize, we have to bring custom size. Uh, for instance, if we build kitchen between two walls and we wanted to fill uh, this kitchen without any fillers, we have to have custom sized cabinetry. Another requirement for custom cabinetry we can see when we design appliance housings. Because, uh, for instance, 30 inches uh, cabinet, it is this is completely not standard for European sizing, but it is very standard for American. So for European manufacturers, it would be a uh, custom cabinet, but it's easy to accomplish and we are happy to create any custom sized cabinetry for you. We always try to save some money for our clients when we can see uh, how, how we can utilize standard uh, sized cabinetry. Too many cabinetry? Um, no. Okay. okay. We're talking about cabinets, so I think we can use the word cabinetry. <laughs> and moving on to cabinetry. Okay. What about drawers versus doors? Okay. On kitchen cabinetry. Yes. Uh, doors, of course, is less convenient as the drawers, as everyone knows. But sometimes we would not recommend to use drawers for instance in a shallower cabinets because it doesn't make any sense to have a drawer in a shallow cab shallower cabinet when you can easily reach a uh, back side of the cabinet without any clouds so introducing uh, drawers in the shallow cabinets meaning only that you would utilize interior cavity less effective let's talk about hardware German manufacturers usually have basic handles already included in price. That being said, we always have more optional solutions, which is more trendy, more fashionable and uh, more exclusive. Of course, we can have it, uh, but we'll bring price up. And again, to compare to the other European uh, and American manufacturers, you always can save on the handles when you have your uh, basic collection uh, which already included in price and especially the price group one it comes to the very attractive price awesome and the question of the hour how much does all of this cost uh how much it cost i wouldn't talk about numbers because i don't know i'm watching this video uh it can be five years since we posted this video so i would say a German kitchen would cost roughly the same amount of money as a custom-made American kitchen, high-quality American kitchen, but we would utilize interior cavity of the kitchen more efficient and we would utilize counter space more efficient because in Europe we do not have that much uh, space uh, usually as we have in the United States. So we try to create more efficient, more practical solutions for the cabinetry. That's basically it. Uh, talking about key components of the German kitchen. Please subscribe, like, uh, hit the like button, and uh, if you would like to learn more, stay tuned and see you next time.